Hello! Good afternoon! Happy Friday to you! It's Brandon Devnich here from i3D Themes with this week's interactive number 94, where we share what we're passionate about and what we've been working on in the i3D Themes design and code labs. So, pretty busy week, but it started off, it was smoking hot here in Victoria, British Columbia. We had temperatures of, well, enough to make a Canadian melt, more or less. Um, upwards of 30 degrees Celsius, which I've, I'm giving up on the on the conversions, but it was, it was hot because we don't have air conditioners here because it never gets that hot. So luckily the equipment <laughs> didn't melt down. And um, so here we are today. It's a little cooler, thank goodness. I'm, I'm all right with that. But it has been a fantastic summer here. And when we haven't been enjoying the sunshine, uh, we've been working hard at all the different projects we've been working on. So in the design lab this week, Colin has been working on the redesign of the Pegasus dot com homepage. And so why are we doing that? Well, when we first launched that homepage, the product was different. We designed and developed Pegasus as a page speed optimization tool. Basically, we take a WordPress site and optimize it for the page speed metric. We did all that and then we realized there's even more that we can do. Let's add in a CDN. Let's add in um, ultra image optimization. Let's add in all sorts of different techniques that can make the web page load even faster. And so the product is a whole lot more than it was when we first conceptualized it as well as when we you know, first launched it some eight months ago. And so the homepage doesn't really reflect that. So Colin is doing a complete redesign of the Pegasus.com homepage when he's not working on all the different projects that he works on from week to week. So that's what he's been working on and it's probably about 70% 70, uh, 70 through the mock-up phase, hoping to have that done by the end of next week and into actual content development, in which case once it's done, um, we will post it up and stylize the rest of the pages in the site. So probably within the next two to three weeks, we should have the completely redone Pegasus.com site. I'm looking forward to that. I always love it, to, a fresh coat of paint sort of thing. And then uh, in the uh, code lab here, I've got uh, every week I write up my, my, my battle plan. It's my, my list of what are we going to focus in on this week. Most of the tasks that I do, I can complete within a day or two. Sometimes it's maybe a week. So I usually have a prioritized list. I learn something new, I add it to the list, and every week I either shift things up or down depending upon what's going on and what's going on the the news of web performance out there and so one of the things i that has been just tucked in the back of my head that i needed to look at because i hadn't really yet was gutenberg now if you've never heard of gutenberg i'm not going to fault you i hadn't i didn't even know what it was people ask me do you know about gutenberg and i'm like google.com what is gutenberg gutenberg is the new editor for wordpress it's sort of a design WYSIWYG thing. Much, 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 much better than the tiny MCE editor that they've used for years. And in fact, I think what's going to happen is when WordPress 5 launches with Gutenberg, which is, it's impending. We're on version 4.9.7 now. So it's coming any time now. But when it launches, less, fewer people are going to be dissatisfied with the editing environment in WordPress and go to a alternate builder such as page builder or elementor or beaver builder or divi or these all these other different plugins that offer a builder experience where you can drag and drop and add widgets and that sort of thing a lot of them are really complicated and i know the average wordpress user that's just going to be managing their site doesn't want complexity and even setting up web pages with one of these builders can be very time consuming. And WordPress has gone and built a tool that allows for a richer experience for editing your content without going crazy uh, and making it difficult to figure out how to build a web page. So I wanted to check it out to make sure that Pegasus would work with it. And I'm happy to say there's no, <laughs> nothing I need to change in the Pegasus product, thank goodness. It's actually pretty good. Uh, first look at it, uh, just playing around with it, it seems great. Uh, so that's coming out. 
it's always good when you when you hear about something and you, <laughs> you're like oh is this going to cause me more work no this was actually a, a, a very pleasant surprise so that started off the beginning of the week um, and then on Tuesday I think it was there was um, we caught wind of a, a mention for Pegasus uh, in a reddit subreddit where they were talking about the flash of unstyled content and what can you do and somebody referenced one of our tutorials on pegasus.com and I went oh you know what it's been a while since I wrote that tutorial and and since then we've we've added a lot of different things to the Pegasus system what we really need in that tutorial is the ability to actually build the solution so when I wrote the tutorial I spoke about all the different things that you could do to get critical pass CSS so the flash of unstyled content I'll start with that first what is the flash of unstyled content the flash of unstyled content is what happens when you defer render blocking CSS so one of the techniques to make web pages load faster is to get rid of all the stuff that prevents the page from loading what we do is we defer it so we wait until the, the HTML gets rendered and then then we load the CSS and then we load the JavaScript. The CSS and the JavaScript are render blocking, okay? So if we defer all that stuff to load after the HTML gets put into place, then the page inst well, instantly loads up. <laughs> the downside is that it instantly loads up with the white background, black text, blue links, and you get unstyled content and until the CSS style sheets start to load in. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop, and then doo -doo 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 -doo, everything falls into place and that's called the flash of unstyled content how do you avoid the flash of unstyled content well you need to get what's called the critical path CSS it's a really overly complicated term to just basically say the CSS that's required in order to render the page above the fold which is the the browse, viewable browser region when you first load up the page the critical path CSS it's called how do you get that though and when I was first doing web performance optimization that was the trick it's like how do you get it well there's all these tools out there that if you are an uber geek that you run on the command line on your web server and you're a Linux guru and you run gulp and node.js and all sorts of different things and oh it can do wonders Okay, I, I'm relatively adept at Linux. And I, I know my way around an operating system and some of this stuff, but that stuff blew my mind and I was like, ah, this is too much. Never mind making it easy for the average user to, to do. So we built the solution that did it all for you. We, we did the hard work, to how to do that, and then we automated it. And that's what the Pegasus Web Performance Optimization plugin is. And then that's also what our Numo Accelerator plugin is for traditional websites, like .html pages. So we have these products and they do that. They go out to our server, they request the critical path CSS from our API, and then it returns it and then it automatically injects it into your pages. But if you are a webmaster of a small website and you just want to optimize by hand two or three pages, very doable. But you need to get the critical path CSS. How do you get it? Well, we decided that I decided on Tuesday I'd build a tool. So I did. It took me about an hour because I'm already accessing the Pegasus API. I told it, get me the, uh, the critical path CSS for whatever web page I punch into a form. And there you go. So it's now available. If you are a webmaster of a small website and you are optimizing just a couple pages for the you know, web performance and you need the critical path CSS, go check it out at pegasus.com. And scroll down to the bottom of the page it's under the tools section it's right there it's free to use you get like a few uses every day no charge have at her one of the other things that i've been working on this week as well is the uh we wanted to take our delivery of images to the next level the next level we already optimized the images we already delivered the images via cdn content delivery network right if you don't know what a content delivery network is it is a network of servers all over the globe that load in your content like your images your CSS your JavaScript those resources and then say you um, have a lot of visitors in Japan 
uh, the content delivery network also has a server in Japan and when they type in your website and your website references an image of you and some style sheets it actually loads it from a server that's closer to your visitors and so your web sites and your web pages render faster it's one of the techniques that we employ for website performance but there was there's something missing as far as the delivery of images one of the key components and we figure that we can eke out another 30 percent on the load times for the sites that are running pegasus um, if we figured out a solution uh, and so we spent a great deal of the week taking a look at what the different CDN solutions um, that are out there, that, what their features are, and seeing how we could implement them. And as of and it, some of this stuff is really quite complex in trying to leverage the power that the different CDNs have. Um, and so you know, I was folding laundry yesterday, going, "How am I going to get this to work?" And I folded a piece of laundry, went, "Ah." Oh! <laughs> There we go. I need to full bore laundry apparently to come up with good ideas. So it's now 70% complete. Uh, I should have that also done by the end of next week. And that will part of, be a part of Pegasus 1.10, which I'm hoping to have released by the end of next week. So lots on the plate here. Lots keeping us busy. We have had a chance to get outside and enjoy the, the sunny weather when we've had it. Hope you've had a fantastic summer so far and you've had a great week. You've got good plans for the weekend ahead. Join me next week while I share uh, all the different stuff that I've accomplished this week and um, or next week, I guess it is, and hopefully give you an update on those things that I've been working on. Thanks so much for joining me and we'll talk to you again next week. All right, bye-bye.